Hey, what is up YouTube? Andrew Rooney here. I'm a drummer, drum teacher based here in Auckland, New Zealand. And today we're going to check out Gene Hoagland from a band called Death, I think. Uh, and the song's called The Philosopher. And this is a Patreon pick for Zapagor Waikato. Fellow Kiwi who's uh, jumping in and uh, supporting this channel. Thank you so much for um, for helping out, and I look forward to more. <laughs> we have a few good uh, messages back and forth and a few good chats, man. So uh, I look forward to more of that in the future. Before we get rolling, please be sure to subscribe. That really helps uh, helps me out. And hit the like button, leave a comment, maybe even hit the notification bell if you want to be aware of the next video or any good stuff like that. Just a quick word on how to get your song selected. <laughs> I uh, complete transparency. I am prioritizing the Patreon selections just because they're the people that are really supporting me. Um, and I will definitely try and get to other ones as well. There's far too many to do all of them, which I'm completely honored by and blown away by the amount of requests I'm getting. Uh, we'll maybe in the future we'll do something like we'll make a separate video. Um, and that one will just be for, maybe we'll see which request gets the most likes or something like that and we can do that one. I'm not sure, but I'm doing my best over here. <laughs> um, but let's check out a little bit more about Gene Hoagland. I've heard this name before. Now Eugene Victor Hoagland II is an American drummer acclaimed for his creativity and drum arrangements, including use of abstract devices for percussion effects and his trademark lengthy double kick drum rhythms. His highly technical playing is extremely accurate at very high and challenging tempos, earning him the nickname The Atomic Clock and Human Drum Machine. Wow. He is best known for his work with Dark Angel, Death, Strapping Young Lad, Devin Townsend, Fear Factory, Death Lock, and Testament. Okay, so this guy's the real deal. Hoagland was even featured on the cover of Modern Drummer magazine in November 2010. All right, uh, this is coming in highly recommended, and I'm expecting a lot from uh, Gene Hoagland. Let's check him out. Very clean. Who relax the studers? Sorry, I don't want to be stopping the video guy every two seconds, but look at this guy, how, how relaxed he is. He's playing all this, you know, pretty, pretty intricate stuff already. And you've got a guy going, in your ear, and he's just going, hey, that's good. And again, with all these metal dudes, you can just tell he's got such a good vibe about him, such a good aura. It's a, just such a surprising fact for me that, um, you know, that stereotype of metal, metal heads, should we, can we call them metal heads? Is that they're, you know, satanic maniacs. Um, out there, you know, causing chaos and, and biting the heads off live chickens. I don't know. But the reality is they're just really good dudes. I'm a horror guy, horror movies. And I feel like we get sort of hit with that same thing where people think, you know, if you watch horror movies, you're a weirdo or, or you're a sicko. And it's, yeah. Anyway, it's my rant. Back to the... There we go. Clean. Yeah. 
Nice! Got a little bit of I made and galloping. Looks so zen. And the open handed. I haven't talked at all about that yet. He's making this look terrifyingly easy. Okay, talk to me, people. Uh, people who know more about Gene Hoagland than I do, which is zero. Um, he must be an ambidextrous player. He's got a ride on both sides. Um, I don't know if it's the same ride. Don't think they are. And he seems he seems like he might be an ambidextrous drummer. Yell out if um if I've got that wrong or you know a bit more about him, hit me in the comments. Bit of a Billy Cobham vibe. Get to get those hi hats so low when you're playing open handed, it's really nice and comfortable. Ooh, the way you phrase that vocal line there. He's loving that crossover, Lack. Like. That looks like it might be a bell brass snare too. That's what sexy ass snare. I love this little call and response phrase and then drum drum response fill. All right, Gene Hoagland, another drummer that I can add to the list of people that I was completely ignorant on before. And now I know a little bit of what Gene Hoagland's about. Absolutely awesome. <laughs> right there on the screen, Gene Hoagland, the atomic clock. Fantastic. Thanks again to all my patrons and I look forward to catching you on the next video. All right, peace.